Friday. I said, well, don't get no evidence, uh, no right man for the warrior. And I said, let's move it out of Australia. And if they get up to fight for us, at least we might get some some changes. With the coroner's courts, it shouldn't take so many years, like five years, before it goes through court of the dictation of my son's death of the day. Now, George, um, you're part of the legal team representing the Dungay family and you've lodged a complaint to the United Nations Human Rights Committee citing David's right to life. What do you want to achieve by doing this? Look, I think Lee Turner and Paul sum, summed it up pretty well. They know what they want. First of all, they want no more deaths in custody. Right? That, that's the basic principle. People should be diverted away from the criminal justice system. You've heard it tonight again and again and again. They want to expose the systemic racism that runs through our system. They want the United Nations to uphold the complaint, which will be an embarrassment to this nation. And they want charges to be at least investigated, if not made. Because if you don't have accountability for actions, it'll happen again. And that's what Arnie Bitona and many others have been demanding for year after year after year. We've had 30 years since the Royal Commission into Aboriginal Deaths in Custody. It's happening again and again. As Paul said, coroners are letting down Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander families. They're not looking at the systemic problems. They're blind to the racism in the system. And, it, it, and basically, it, they're continuing they're allowing the process to continue because they're not exposing what's really going on. They're not recommending accountability and that needs to change. And if this action is successful, what ramifications, if any, would it have back here in Australia? Well, I think it's pretty embarrassing for our nation to be exposed as racist and uh, have the, the manner in which we incarcerate First Nations people exposed to the world we're supposedly a first world nation, but the way we are treating uh, First Nations people is an absolute disgrace. That needs to be uh, exposed. And then hopefully the New South Wales government will take legal action to allow um, David's death to be investigated by the DPP or Safe Work New South Wales so that there can be potentially charges in the future. And Auntie Litona and Paul, can I ask you what justice would look like for you? Well, what justice would look like for me would be they all all be charged with with uh, accountability. I would like all all my ab Aboriginal Indigenous people to carry on uh, and continuously push and push for these people to leave us alone. The government ought to be ashamed of himself that he won't consider even looking at any of these cases of deaths in custody. It's a big, big shame of Australia. So when is this going to stop? And Paul, what would justice look like yeah. for you? Yeah, so justice for me, you know, would be, you know, asking for criminal charges. It's, it's a massive ask to ask the Australian government that. We all know that. Um, since 1991, no one's been criminally charged for an Aboriginal death in custody, and that's appalling. Um, but justice for me and justice for our family would be, you know, those to be criminally investigated for the discrimination to stop within the society, um, you know, within our communities. Well, we know that the system 